my topic is cholesterol benzenate, and more specifically, its use in thermochromatic liquid crystals. Its presence is why mood rings change colors. It is also in LCD screens, projectors, and digital clocks, and things like that. Here is its structure. Its molecular formula is C34H50O2, and its molecular weight is 490. 0.772 grams per mole. It also has many states and that's uh, one of the main char characteristics on why it changes color and we'll talk a little bit about that later. It was discovered by Frederick Ren Renitzer in 1880 and he discovered three things. One, the existence of two melting points. Two, the reflection of circular circulary polarized light and three, the ability to rotate the polarization direction of light. So many physicists, um, including Otto Lehmann, examined this material, material and recognized that the cloudy liquid had a certain degree of order. He proposed that it was an unknown matter and suggested the name liquid crystal. Chlorestral benzenate is, in liquid crystals is perfect for mood rings because it has the ability to change color depending on temperature. When the heat of your hand warms up the liquid crystal, the molecule changes their structure. When the structure changes, light bounces off differently, revealing different colors. So how this works is that the crystal starts at a solid state, like a lot like powdered sugar, and as the temperature increases, the solid powder melts into a liquid fluid that tries to become more and more isotropic. The structure of the particles change many times on their goal for isotropicness, but each time it changes shape, different wavelengths would reflect off, revealing different colors. Cholesterol benzenate acts a lot like a covalent network solid, although it is a liquid most of the time when it changes shape. When it goes into its isotropic phase, it is no longer considered a liquid crystal and looks and behaves like water. Some of the benefits to society is that LCDs have no radiation emission. They are better with light conditions because they have anti-glare technology and the TVs are not affected with increasing or decreasing air pressure. Compared to plasmas, they have a better performance in smaller screens, they require less power and generate less heat as well as have a longer lifespan. There is also a huge artistic attraction making art that changes color depending on temperature. This right here is a picture taken through a polarized optical magnoscope of simply liquid crystals. A benefit to the environment is paint that changes temperature depending on how cold or warm it is. So say it, if it was too cold, then it, may, it would turn to a darker color to absorb more heat. And if it was too warm, then it would turn into a lighter color to absorb less heat. So this saves on required energy to air conditioner heat up your house. The hazard is that when it is used in LCD panels, it has to be mixed with nitrogen trifluoride, which is 17,000 times worse for the environment than CO2. It also stays in the atmosphere for 550 years with no way to remove it. Liquid crystals have no negative impact on the environment, however, on their own. It's the other chemicals that they are combined with.